What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the United States of America. And I believe in this episode, I am very much looking for a reason to not immediately hit end turn because I don't want to go through another end turn phase. And what I am going to do is do a bit of thinking. So we've got this army here that's embarked, but they're not necessarily needed yet. Our next... Our next attack realistically is going... Is it going to be against the French? Because we are actually on... Yeah, we've created a bit of a... A bit of a uh, Catholic alliance here. We may end up trying to knock out the Pueblo nations. Protectorate of Portugal. Potentially opens us up to a future offensive front. But I think we may end up declaring war on Britain. And I think if we're going to do that, and here at Tangier, we need to make sure that we are fortifying and that we are building adequate uh, defences to protect our garrison. I think this may end up being a bit of a North African force. So let's start to recruit a garrison army. So that, that means we need... Don't want too many grenadiers, not in a garrison army. Maybe we're not seeing too much money in it in one single turn. We want this for this area to be garrisoned so we can commit other forces potentially to the capture of Cagliari. That would be quite a good capture. But we do want to start defeating and blockading the British. Maybe even taking Reykjavik and using that as a base of operations. I'm not sure. Meanwhile, all of our recruitment over here is going to plan. Yorktown is... Largely fully recruiting. Let's add another third rate just to be sure. But you're now ready to be deployed. We have ships around the world looking for potential trade locations. But I think our choices may be slim. But let's hit N10 because I think we just have to crack on and see what the N10 phase looks like. You want French Guyana for New Mexico and 10 grand. So New Mexico currently earns nothing. French Guyana is at 4,200. I mean, we will probably only make about 800 of that. So that's potentially 100 turns-ish of French Guyana's resources. But no. I am not trading away my territory to you, Mexico. Quite the opposite. We're going to be after you before you know it. We want to get to a position where the United States Navy is the dominant naval power. Ooh, Britain's invading Sweden by the looks of it. Yep. Interesting. That well, is quite interesting. I mean, it's potentially interesting. Do we take. Do we potentially invade Norway or Sweden to knock off another Protestant ally of Britain before we attack Britain itself? I don't know. You have to pick this pick this side very carefully. Um, but I do not like the look that the Ottomans haven't moved at all. But gee, there's a bit of movement there. But not enough. I'm gonna hedge my bets. And we've got a funny Oh, uh, I see the trade box down here. Right, right, right. Makes sense. Um but yes, I'm gonna chop recording here and bring you guys back when they are done. So see you in a second, everyone. And we're off after 15 minutes. The Portuguese fleet's broken out to the Atlantic. That's pretty, pretty okay. We're not getting much visibility on Russia's up to. Although we know that Persia has actually pushed into some of the areas in eastern Russia. That's quite interesting. Probably going to continue their war against Sweden. But I, time will tell whether or not they'll actually be able to successfully achieve it in this campaign. I'm surprised Punjab and Norway still exist right now, to be honest. But still, it's pretty neat. Okay, 59,000. Let's get on the building. Oh, all our farms are done. Okay, let's drop some more money on our economy upgrades. Before we worry about moving people around. 
Keep on upgrading. Yeah, we don't have the ability, we don't have steam engines yet, so lots of our incredibly expensive commitments we don't actually have to worry about yet. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, so this militia Add unit can go into Cinemary. Let's move the sloop over to Barbados. This army's still replenishing. Yeah, what the heck. Let's fortify Baron Maribo. So as far as our navy recruitment, as far as our other recruitment's con concerned. March. Yes. So you're up to your full strength. Let's recruit a pair of fourth rates to ship you out to... Actually, I might keep hold of them. See, if we want to attack Britain, this army can deploy quite nicely down into the uh, the uh, Caribbean. Yeah, I, th I think Britain's going to be the next logical target. So let's kick out, kick ships out of this Dreadock. Is there anyone we want to attack? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, Algiers. They are trapped. I mean, I'm going to fight it because. I am about to hit end turn, and if it's going to take another 15 minutes, I want to play. <laughs> I want to play a bit. I want to uh, get some action going. So I've been recording this for, as far as you guys are concerned, about 7 minutes, but for me it's nearly 20 minutes. <laughs> More than 20 minutes, actually. Ah oh, well, either way, usually the Ottoman, Ottoman interns, they clean themselves up a bit reasonably quickly. We should be okay. So drop our beast of a gun line up on the hill. Our it says drop in to replace or drop in in front of them. Infantry line get ready to advance. Marines it come in through the town. Yeah, is on the left. Cavalry just advance. We don't need to do much crazy stuff for them. Here, a Dutch fire order. Run the line forward. Gain as much ground as possible. <laughs> we managed to make their mortar unit break. So, send, give each gun team an infantry unit to attack. I should give every artillery piece a separate unit to attack these units on the flank can advance towards the uh, the defenses same with my light infantry. couple of broken units, three broken units, soon to be four broken units. Keep pushing up, secure the ground, let the artillery slam home against their respective targets. There we go. Not many, not many kills at all, but we managed to make them morale collapse fast enough that it's not a problem. Well, that's a bit of a letdown. <laughs> There's no point to try and pursue them. Um, the city is ours. We didn't lose anybody. Beautiful. Okay, let's repair this. Let's. Um, I'm going to keep the dry dock because we have a trading port here. I want to get rid of the iron workshops though and replace them with a church school. You guys can stay as is. 
There's a reasonable little Dutch fleet there, but ultimately they are not long for this world. We can take Tunis, take Tripoli, then we've got a front with the Ottomans, and the Ottomans may actually choose to break our allies. You can soon see how they're making all this break. Especially if they're not at war with the Austrians. Yeah, they're only at war with the Barbary States and Russia, and they have... I mean, they can attack. They can push up here if they want to, or over here, but they are choosing not to do that. Not that it matters to us. Could jump on that fleet, but really, I think I just want to get uh, lime juice and sauerkraut and start building some top tier ships. Austria's built a rocket ship. Good for them. Ah, we are on the border of Yangton, ready to advance in towards the Plains Nation's peoples. Still, again, with the tr with the uh, <laughs> with the uh, offers to trade territories. No, no, no. Now the British army is on the way. They've done some shifting of units. God, and they are backing up that invasion of Sweden. Holy moly. Two full stacks. Damn, the Royal Navy is a good navy. The Dutch retreating back to Tunis, I would wager. But like I said, the, the, uh, the Dutch are not going to be here for very long. And we're going to want our ports start churning out as many high quality fleets as we can. Plus smaller numbers of, of uh, raiding fleets. Wait, was that a French agent in Greece? I think it was. And I'm going to preempt this and I'm going to chop the recording and bring you guys back in a second. So see you, see you imminently everyone. So that one was at least north, <laughs> north of 20 minutes. So we have an election. Let's go to our ministers. Plus one navy. Okay. My navy guy. Yeah, let's put you specifically in the navy. Just this guy. Plus one management, plus one army. Minus one management. So you're going to be four star army at least. Plus one treasury, plus one navy. Okay, generally this is okay. Let's try and boot this guy. My attorney general. There we go. Four stars across the board. At least. We're heading in the right direction. Okay, York factory. Upgrade you. Let's get some road upgrades. Upgrade the roads. Okay. Upgrade the roads. Upgrade the governor's residence. Church school. Recruit a militia. Recruit a light galley. And then for the most part, that's going to be Algiers secure. Let's continue to recruit some extra troops for the garrison. Although well, not too many, because in one turn we have the army board. Which will provide us with nothing <laughs> except more recruitment capacity, maybe. Renard Carlson. Any possible trade spots? There we go. Bingo. Call up the trade fleet. Let's add some ivory to our production. Off they go. Good amount of ivory. 3,000's worth of ivory. Sweden's being blockaded, so that's losing us a bunch of money. Some of these long-term trading partners, these are starting to count for a lot of cash now. We think 3,000 of our trade with the Marathas is just the fact that we've been doing it for a long time. And that's why we are going to be hurting quite a lot when, when war starts to kick off. Recruitment reports... You can join up with them instead. Aye, sir. Take ready. Aye, aye, sir. Let's 
get the third right oh, over to Emma Gascoigne. Again, just keep growing. Just keep growing the navy wherever we can. And down here. Something like that will be pretty nice. Out of this dry dock. Let's get some fourth rates. Sterling shovel. Yeah, that's our new national leader. We haven't yet finished building these buildings yet. Sir. So Henry Dayton, you've got one skirmisher unit. Let's get a second unit of long riflemen. Republican Guard, Grenadiers. It's the last of the American infantry mercenaries, so let's maybe not recruit them all in one army. Something more like that, cool. Now Osbert McDowell, you need to be careful, because you are entering into enemy territory. Do not call my allies in. We're going to stand here. March. The next turn we're going to attack this force and then we're going to push on to the city itself. Got some ancillaries, but we don't have to worry about them. 17,000. Yeah, we're mostly okay. Interesting, you can't actually recruit actual troops. Very interesting. Okay, hop over to Europe. We can get your church school up, hopefully get a priest to start converting Tangier. Um, we're still not going to move on Britain yet. Just want to make sure. Well, I want to knock out the Dutch first. Actually, can you leave? Not easily. Okay, you can wait a turn. The next turn we'll have lime juices and sauerkraut, so we can start to build some naval hospitals. But we still want to maintain some... Keep our eye on the money. Well, they're up their bid to 14,000. We want to keep our eye on the money. We want steam engines and a steam dry dock. Spain have recalled some ships. Britain has not captured any of the Swedish main cities yet. They are pushing, but that is not the same as actually capturing anything. Austria's on the move. Ultimately, the world should not have to respond too crazily to anything we've done. Let's see if the Maratha, the, the Ottoman in turn phase, the curse is still on us. And it looks like it is. So, I'm going to drop the recording here for you guys and bring you back in a minute. We may be on the other side of this now. It only took three minutes, that end turn phase. Not the uh, nearly half an hour behemoth it was previously. So we might be back on the money. Woo! The Norwegian fleet continues to grow. Lime juice and sauerkraut. So I am tempted to build Louisbourg up into a naval hospital just so I can keep Yorktown ready for a steam dry dock. See, if I click on military governor's encampment, I mean, not all of them, not all of the special units can be recruited via a military governor's encampment. Some of them might need the top tier building. What the hell, let's try it. Uh, okay, so I'm stuff college, sugar warehouse. So I've upgraded all of these. Keep the Utangia army board. We'll keep the Utangia uh, recruitment options rolling. Upgrade you to a naval hospital. And let's. Okay. So these will all be done by the time the next port upgrade is ready, which is pretty ace. You guys will move over to Oran, who will wait. Hey, 
here's one for you. Minus two. If I get you guys in here, this tune is protected in the harbour. Yes, it is. So, oh, actually, you can apparently, you can apparently make it over land. God damn, let's do it. Let's take Tunis, knock the Dutch out of the game for good, destroy, destroy one Protestant enemy, and then start to turn our guns towards Britain. And it is likely we will have to fend off multiple um, amphibious assaults against us. In well, on the in the mainland Americas, this is going to be a bit of a Titanic struggle. My foot artillery take position on the sort of high ground over here. Get ready to open, just open fire. We are going to advance towards the enemy. I'm going to keep my native melee infantry with my skirmishers to provide a bit of backup. And I'm going to keep all of my cavalry wide on the left flank. Because the right flank is going to get hemmed in against the houses. Or, I should say, I'm going to deliberately place my right flank so they get hemmed in by the houses. My artillery is targeting. It's being a bit rogue when it comes to the targeting. And now it's uh, quick climb, so they are going to switch to that immediately. Picking their main infantry bodies. Going to work on them. We've got a couple of units out on the flank, but. Take a QSCA unit and move them over wide. Fourth Regiment are going to open fire at point blank range. These dragoons are not going to fire. Are they going to run into my line though? It looks like they are. Gonna put some broadsides into them. If you want to push my my marines, they're welcome to. Your marines, about face. Oh, they broke. My skirmishes have great coverage. Push my cavalry up, but be aware of the stakes. My howitzers focus on clearing out this right flank. Let's get one unit of artillery engaging the second. Good hits. Keep my cavalry ready. If we can smash their flank, that'd be super. Okay, you guys engage the cavalry. Okay, you guys retarget. Principle is. We now want to roll up our left flank. Bring up my melee infantry. Skirmishers are going to be in position but will not engage. Grossier smash the Amazons. My centre is still holding. Okay, 
my cavalry might be potentially a little bit in danger here. Cavalry charge inward. General pursue the colonial light horse. It is risky because he they could easily come back. Skirmish is gonna hold a they're going to cover the flank. So I might bring my general back. Seems a bit pointlessly dangerous moving him in. Switch my artillery, my howitzers to round shot, bombard the dragoons. There we go, they came back. Call the cavalry. Well, I don't necessarily recall them. Engage the sixth light horse. About face the marines. Switch to switch to uh, quick claim and continue engaging as planned. Well, off here. We've killed the enemy general. So, the intention is if I can push up to here, that'd be great. Kill the cavalry enough that they shatter, withdraw the cavalry, skirmishers get up onto this high ground. All my foot artillery engage the pile of calm citizenry. And just clear them out. There's a unit here that's recovered. African native infantry, to be fair, they haven't actually lost anybody. All my foot artillery engage them. Let these poor souls, these Dahomey Amazons, advance into the open ground. Well, actually, to be fair, my cavalry can deal with them. My howitzers switch to round shot. They can all engage the 21st Regiment. Yeah, cut down these Amazons. Heavy cavalry swords high. Oh no. Excellent. Oh, here comes the armed citizenry again. Push the cavalry up around the edge of the map. Uh, some of my cavalry have ran up into this building. We have now taken it. <laughs> They've broken. They have. Yeah, they all. Oh, for a second there. Yeah, let's end the battle there, though. The good victory. You have taken. Tunis from the Dutch. Superb. Now let's fortify our position. Um, we don't need a dry dock. We don't need a college. Happiness building would probably be pretty decent. Let's upgrade the boarding house, upgrade the farm. Let's get a NABA working on another lime galley. Good! So research lime juice and sauerkraut. You've gone straight on to reform naval architectures. That is okay for the time being. We're growing our naval strength, so that is fine. We've sorted all this out. 
At the ready. Fairly sure you've got seven spots remaining. Ready and awaiting order. Oh no, you, need, you can only recruit. Forward. You've Forward. got five more slots. There we go. Sir. We're building up our strength nicely right now. Got a couple of spare yes, trade fleets. All the way. Officer on deck. Let's get these two this ships out. To be fair, board. New York can be replaced. Well, the guard ship can be replaced with a brig. Aye, aye, sir. Set so orders. let's continue growing our orders, trade fleets. Something like that. Aye, aye, sir. Good. Take ready. So long, United Provinces. But you've been replaced by an empire, empire greater and stronger. And soon, Tripoli will be done. And it'll be really interesting to see what the uh, Ottoman Empire elect to do once we have a border. The main... Your humble servant. That's what I really wanted for the garrison. Some howitzers. We may end up pushing across the Straits of Gibraltar. Maybe. Military writer. Oh, I forgot about the uh, attack towards the Black Hills. Peoples. Nuts. Uh, still want to trade regions? Nope. Getting no attraction there at all, Mexico. Not going to happen. They are advancing on towards Stockholm. Will they actually make it though? That's the question. There we go. See, look, it took one time, it took nearly half an hour. Then we just skipped straight through. As frustrating as it is, and I get it, it's frustrating. Just stick with it. Because otherwise, you could have cancelled this campaign. It's definitely broken. It's crashed. I'm never going to play it again. But here we are. It's great. What a time to be alive. I've been around this. I've been around this circle a few times uh, with the Ottoman Empire. Very much know what's going on. And bearing in mind, I have been recording this episode for, as far as you guys are concerned, thirty-two minutes. But in real life, I've been here for an hour and twenty minutes, <laughs> doing bits and pieces. But it's great. It's always once you. It's inevitable once you reach those turns for the Ottomans, you just have to grind them out and get through them. If you don't get through them, they'll never go away. A rake in New England, don't really care about that so much. I mean, I'll send you over to Santa Fe. We've got plenty of agents scampering around as it is. Intellectual advance. Classical economics. New upon straight on the short and carbines. So we research all of the philosophical techniques. That is great. Get on with steam engine. Good. Excellent. Spice warehouse is maxed out. Upgrade the wealth of French. Upgrade the trading structure of French Guyana. Good, good, good. New farm upgrades. Chat school has made Algiers settle down. Upgrade the port. The roads are good. Nice. Tunis. Flat upgrades across the board. Let's get a trade port. Let's keep the army. Make sure the army is replenishing. Let's get... This light galley over to Safaki. Upgrade Tatooine to a church school. Let's see if they let us leave. They do. The road goes ever on and on. On towards the Barbary States. So we're not... Oh, we are at war with some... With the, I forgot we are at war with the Austrians. Well, dang nerve it. Their Mediterranean fleet looks a bit shaky.
What's the best route to attack them? Do we just go ham and land in Amsterdam and just kind of... Hmm, or land and take Paris. That's another interesting op option. Officer Gerald Anderson. Carver. Aye, aye, sir. Still ship Ready for action. We're Excellent. I'm pretty sure all these are covered. Oh, yeah, they are. Still ship Wait, well, you stay here. Ship's orders. Come about. I mean, I think we might just invade France. Take ready. Aye, sir. You don't need to go Fleet into ready. them. Ship shape and Bristol fashion, Captain. Fleet ready. You know what? Ship's orders, Captain. Make ready. I like the prospect ready. of invading Waiting Paris. Weigh anchor, sir. Oh, no, let's not be. Let's not be hasty. It's not my theme. My theme is to attack Britain. I think I'm just going to do that now. So who? Am I? I mean, we're indifferent. We're only just positive. But if I declare on them, screw it. We're the USA. Now they're hostile. Now we have to declare war. All of you men, pick a side. Persia broke with Britain. A lot of them didn't join us either. But we're still trading with a lot of people, and that's super. So I mean we're still we're still pretty secure here at Tangier. Workers on strike in Tunis, no, not anymore, they're not. And we are going to recruit some garrison troops. We lost our alliance with the Marathas and trade with the Marathas. Are we now at war with the Marathas? Yeah, we are. Not a huge problem. <clears throat> Ceylon is also owned by Britain. Well, let's land this force off of the coast here. Ships, orders received. Ships <gasps> there is a big fleet. <gasps> big fleet with lots of, troop, lots of uh, troops on it. So you cannot escape, but that doesn't matter because we've got you... Can bottle up cart right? They got lots of good ships. Which I may even aye, aye, sir. Officer commit. Aye, sir. I may even commit two of my fleets up here. Orders. Aye, aye, and then sir. you, Jared, sail to Nassau. Yeah, access. Don't talk about access to me. Underway, making camp. Bartholomew at Dryden, at Nassau. Let's take the port. Then you guys here in French Guiana, they are vulnerable to a follow-up assault. But you know what? We don't care because we are here to conquer. Ready and awaiting orders. Ship's orders. On our way, Captain. Any Sir. further orders? Let's go for Antigua. Ready and waiting. Aye, aye, sir. Aye, sir. Then let's send this last sloop from Barbados. Send it to Curacao. Do some raiding. Aye, aye, sir. And do it to Jamaica. Do some raiding. I can't do any raiding. Interesting, there's so many troops. There's going to be a lot of slaughter to be had here, that's for sure. Upgrade this dry dock into a naval hospital, although I can't do much with it. Sir. Osbert McDowell, you will put Langton, uh, Yankton, not Langton, Yankton under siege. Where. Did my. Priest. No, there he is. What do you require of me? Gonna say. What more can I do? I suppose. Do I lift the siege? Get I you guys the in. Lord's will. Oh no, they they are sufficiently. They are sufficiently. I'm um, in love with 
their lords, they do not listen to me. Taking cover. So in Europe, our objective is to hold whatever they throw at us with casual expansion. At the ready. Although we could. You guys secure the, them. Secure that fleet. Backed up by the second rate. Let's send a unit of Amazons to keep Casablanca secure. You men march across and put Gibraltar under siege. That will cause some problems. Although, to be honest, we should really knock some of these enemies out now. Um. Let's attack. Let's capture Gibraltar. I mean, it's a mostly militia army. Anthony Wayne, with a good garrison force at his back. That will cut off... Well, I mean, Britain doesn't really have many Mediterranean colonies apart from Sardinia. But it, who... I mean, we, we'd be mad not to try and control the strait. Especially as we, we can gain a temporary superiority of it. Besides which, Britain's, it's, log it's completely logical to attack Britain right now. They're a big, they're a good, big, nasty threat, and that's exactly what we want. So we're going to form up, advance, and destroy them all. Got a good position for artillery. Up on this hill. Not too far back. Um, could put the rangers in here, but generally we want to advance and destroy them rather than hunker down. Let's keep Mr. Wayne alive for now. He's done so well. Let's just start to butcher their infantry formations with quickline. Yeomanry, Provincial Cavalry. Okay, I think we want to slightly rebalance our lines to extend a little bit further out on the right flank. Three units of Yeomanry. I fancy my chances with Grassier and Regiment of Horse. We're bashing open one unit of yeomanry. We're not going to wait. We're going to push in. The American heavy cavalry will make short work of you. British yeomanry. What chance do you have? What chance do you think you have? Here comes the yeomanry. They're going to try and smash into my line. Form square. Get out of square. getting picked at. Could do with giving them a bit of support though. Pitch my howitzers. I mean, I'll be careful when I push into the centre. That's for darn sure. Let's attack the 16th. You men are going after the 23rd. Foot artillery continue to attack the dragoons to the rear. Bayonet charge. Uh, 
Excellent. They've already they're already pulling a unit out. They can't sustain those losses. Big losses there from the enemy. Let's try and run the cavalry back out. Cuirassier push. Okay, they broke. 57, 42, 89. A big block of their troops are running away in the centre. Charge the Dragoons, give them my artillery, just keep pounding the retreating British. They've thrown the General's bodyguard into the mix. Okay, cavalry retreat, infantry get out of the squares, begin to advance past the square formations. Run my cavalry around the stakes. Excellent. Keep pushing. Cavalry still kicking. I mean, they, this, they are whittling us down. Try to get these cuirassiers up and around to try help out. Switch my howitzers to round shot because fratricide is becoming a real danger now. It's not clear where the enemy reinforcements are going to enter the field from. Where are you? Now they're starting to be whittled down. Send in the troops. Um, okay. That's super not fun. Going to be coming in from this direction. take a bit of time to get in. My guys can sort of redeploy in time. Killed their general. Then my cavalry in to the rear of this formation. How it says limber up. Irregulars. Actually, let's try and do this. You men tie up the 42nd Regiment. Everyone here, you've crushed the remaining British cavalry. I mean, that's quite an interesting engagement, really. Although the textures for the line infantry have failed to load in. Let's catch the militia out. We just want the artillery just to slowly walk through the line. I mean, it's a bit mad to do that rather than push the infantry up, but ah, uh, what the heck. Continue engaging. I'm gonna get my general over here too. Yeah, more cavalry coming in. Just 
straight for the line. Your textures have failed to load in too. Actually, they all have. Holy moly. Except for this guy. He knows what's up. Cavalry force and a select few units of infantry. Excellent, the militia have broken to my cavalry. She's at it. That might be it. Nice. Bit of a proper slugfest that one, but that was still fun. Oh, killed them, there's nowhere for them to go. Could take a bit of time to replenish this these uh these guys that's for sure and let's also set, secure sandy wall. bay and secure the first rate ship of the line richmond let's grab some uh <laughs> grab some capital ships bring them into the fleet we won't be able to get them repaired but it's a good tactical win against the royal navy Got a real, real spread of ships here. The British have the weather gauge, so they're going to be frustrating with it. We need to go like that. Then try to cut across them. Near yeah, Richmond. Coming right on us. Frolic, the heavy privateer, and Atalanta, the heavy frigate. You guys are fodder. This is the fellow we want. You've already lost nearly half your guns. Not bad at all. I mean, you guys are pretty peaky as well. Sixteen guns, fifty-nine crew. You're up against Louisiana, Defiant, Athena, Argus, Lightning, Pandora. Pandora? We don't want no Pandoras. First shots away. Atalanta is, the, is similar. Actually, they are the same. Well, they started off the same anyway. Fine is going to try and blast chain shot. If they can actually get. Okay, I'm already. Let's dispense with the fleet tactics. We're all going to get ready to blast chain into Richmond. Heavy privateers giving my my ship the runaround. Every sail, everybody sail at full sail. These second rates just focus on getting into a good firing position against Richmond. Guns reloaded, we're on the way. Don't tread on me indeed. Okay, these ships will sail around the back. You were unable, unable to blast with, unable to steam right past at full sail. Get ahead. Come on, just keep maneuvering the second rate until we can blast them with a broadside.
the last two guns. Reload. On all of you, keep on firing. Let's fire your broadsides. That's <laughs> distracting me. Okay, try and knock some sails off a of frolic. Holy moly, your Richmond's on fire. Okay, switch to round shot. Give her one broadside and then book it. Full speed. Get away from that ship. Do not stay nearby. Although, they've calmed down a lot. The rigging was, was originally quite badly on fire. Four for eight Argus is getting into position. Fire. Keep running. There you go. She's routing on fire. Soon will no longer be with us. Let's just chain shot, see if we can knock off one of these masts. Excellent. finally surrendered. Better put that fire out, sunny boy. The mounted case of sinking you. Concerned, many guns destroyed. Just drop anchor and keep shooting, I suppose. You can keep putting shots into lightning. Shaken, wavering. Still running. Arm yourself, you must board. Speedy maneuvers for boarding. Try and run away. Let's switch to chain. There, uh, continue. Crazy maneuvers. No uh, round shot. Fire shot into a hull. You can fire chain. Oh yeah, Richmond's badly on fire. Leg. There goes Richmond. She, she blew up just before the end of the match. End the end of the episode. So it's just the privateer and the frigate. We'll cash him in. Ship shape and advance into Sandy Bay. We still came out ahead. It's Garrison yes. Tangier. Appropriately. Minus one. Let's recruit one Dragoon unit. Could go out and grab you as well. Fourth and fifth rate. Not super bothered by them. Let's move the sixth rate and the fifth rate out. So I can move these fourth rates into the fleet. Ready and waiting. So Gibraltar's pretty happy. Morocco's getting used to it. Tunis is kind of happy. Cool. Um, but looking at the timer, well, what I think the timer is, I believe that's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continued adventures of the United States. Cheers, everyone.